Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna do a couple more edits, and the first uh, edits I'm gonna do is uh, the shoot from Lindsay last week. So let's get started. So this is a shoot from the Park Winters uh, last weekend. So this one I will use the HP2 to start with. So at first uh, HP2 has a lot of contrast, so it um, create a nice dark tone in the background in the back. So I will just um, reduce a little bit. Uh, you can just reduce back to 50% or 60% so that it's not too overwhelming um, on the uh, on the contrast. So I, I will just adjust the contrast a little bit so that it's nice uh, even. So it's nice like even spread out. And I will just rotate a little bit so that it is perpendicular to the ground and then save it make sure there's enough head space to the uh, portrait and that's it that's my edit so this is the original and then this is my edit so I just use uh, like around two minutes to edit a picture so the next one, let me save it. So many of you say, uh, how do I save? I just say save actual size. So I will save actual size for this one. Next one I'm gonna do is um, one of the indoor one. So this is the indoor place in the park winter. So this one I will use the A4. It's kind of like nice brown tone evenly and I will just adjust the contrast a little bit without too much and then the body skin is still too bright so I just do a highlight save and then exposure reduce slightly a little bit and I think that's it that's about it and I will crop it for Instagram 4x5 and then save it the next one I'm gonna edit is this one from the sofa and there's a nice uh, furniture with the four vibes in it so i'm gonna use the e5 for this one e5 has a nice like brown tone in it so it creates a nice like brown mood uh, for the four uh, style so it's uh need to be aware of what tone your fee is if your fee is uh, mostly uh, brown tone recently like because of the fall so it's good for you to use like kind of like brown uh, filter for your photos so I will just crop it like this and then press 2 and then save it and that's it that's my shot and then I save actual size for this one and then I will edit a window shot one so this is through the windows so these two shots are through the window and I will just um, use E5 or E6 both are good for this situation and let me try the E6 one more time because I this is my first time editing this picture also so uh, it's from the XT2 JPEG so I inc uh, make the tone colder a little bit but the line of the green still because the E6 E6 is very per, uh, particular on the green tone so I will just do a Instagram crop 4x5 for this one and then let me see so uh, on the top there's still a little bit of space I, I probably need to crop it out completely so I just cropped it out completely and then save it if it doesn't satisfy your need you can just uh, change to E5 it has a warmer tone overall so and then I will just increase the contrast and then maybe reduce the exposure even a little bit more okay so that's this is the edited version and the cropping probably uh, too tight to the head so I probably need to the ratio I need to move it up a little bit more the ratio so and then yeah still a little bit on top 
yep let's save it and then let me save as the actual size okay so that's my edit uh, on this route so next I'm just gonna go through the Instagram quickly so so I'm gonna go through quickly on the name that I pre type so let's see okay I'm back so for some reason Instagram just clear out the history that I just type in so I will just retype in the name so let's get started the 30 second uh, critique video so this one I like the mood and tone of this light right here so good job uh, for uh, this one uh, my only opinion is this uh, black line right there is too strong it cut off the image a little bit so you can just ask the uh, model just step to the left a little bit more so that this one will be out of the picture or you can just crop it down a little bit more and overall I like the uh, four tone in here so good job doing those uh, four four tone style like um, in the feed and uh, keep it up next one so uh, from the feed consistency standpoint uh, make sure the cropping is consistent uh, because this one is a tight look and then this one has a lot of headroom you can just crop it down a little bit more and then this one um, you can crop it more to the center also just, just uh, what's your first impression just ask uh, usually just ask uh, yourself what do you want when people land in your feed do they see particular pattern or tone in order to gain um, more followers in order for them to click the follow button they have to have a consistent feel in it so just make sure that you have to be aware of uh, where your feed the direction is going so next one I like the uh, color in this picture it's nice uh, color against the uh, white background from the feed consistency standpoint so let's see what's my feeling I like the dark tone in here so probably uh, I would like to see more dark tone alternatively with uh, the light tone because um, these the first two are light tone and then this one is kind of like high contrast to me so it's better I will just put this one and then put this one and then put this one and I like the tone um, in the individual picture but uh, just to make sure that uh, when they are next to each other have to uh, see the tone next to each other and how consistent how, how to make the flow of your fee better so keep it up the good work so next one it seems like it's a travel lifestyle uh, feed and um, since I haven't taken too much uh, travel lifestyle I'm just uh, look through from the uh, composition so it's nice composition like leading line to here and nice environmental con uh, text in here and uh, yeah so basically it's just a travel uh, style so just keep consistent of posting um, the travel vibes if, if you try uh, trying to keep your feet more toward the travel lifestyle so good job on doing the travel lifestyle so next one so overall you are keeping the tone nicely like there's a dark blue tone overall from the feed standpoint and uh, I like the leading line in this one so nice edit so great picture with the cold tone and then the warm tone in the portrait just uh, the cold against the warm and the warm is the center of the portrait so good job so 
I like the uh, you keeping consistent through the three series, like three in a row, and keep it consistent. This pole, this uh, traffic light pole right here is like too distracted to my eye a little bit. Too much uh, space on this side, uh, so I will just crop it closer to be tighter for the image, to get tighter for the image. So next one. I like the uh, frame style tone and very nicely keeping it consistently throughout the feet. So when I look at the feet, I feel it's very comfortable, like because you are arranging the way that is very consistent throughout. So really good job. I really like the frame tone in this. It's like I'm flipping through through the frame album. So great job. Next one. So it's kind of dark tone uh, in, uh, but I'm glad that you're keeping it consistently dark tone and uh, like nice uh, mood in it. Even though it is uh, landscape, it has nice like moody in it and. Just a good job on keeping the consistent and keep it up. So next one, so this one I can see is using a Fujifilm X-T2 also. So uh, like mainly street style photography, and I like the frame in this one. I'm not sure if I need to crop closer because there's a. Uh, Make sure you see there's a white board right next to the person. It kind of distracted the portrait a little bit. If there's no white paper board uh, next to the person, that will be better. And I will crop it closer to even create a stronger frame for here. So I'm crop. I will crop on the edge, and then it's tighten up the image a little bit. Good job. So let's see. So you're keeping consistent on the horizontal style, and this image, uh, the background seems tilted to the right a little bit. I will tilt it back to the left, maybe five degree more. And I like the color in this one against the uh, background, the dark background. So make sure. I'm not sure about the tilted. It's usually I don't tilt the background because uh, it is easily break the pattern. But in your case, you have tilted on this side, so it creates a balance left and right. So good job on that. Uh, yeah, just keep it up. Uh, make sure it is consistent throughout. And I think that's the last one. This is the last one. I am very careful on posting the tilted uh, diagonally because it's uh, creating a distraction from the feed. Because this portrait has very less space here, and then this portrait doesn't have space on here. When they are next to each other, it creates an imbalance uh, flow next to each other. It feels like these two portraits are too close from the feed without the space. And uh, from the feed consistency standpoint, you have two very dark image next to each, each other. I will post a dark image and a lighter one to balance out, and a lighter one, so a dark image and then the lighter image, and then do another dark image just to space it out. Because when you first look at the feed, you're trying to find a flow. Uh, right now, kind of light dark and dark together and then there's some uh, bright scattered throughout so just my opinion on that uh, keep it up i see you shooting the fuji frame also so keep it up good job so that's it for my uh, instagram edit using visco and then the critique video so thank you so much if you want to join the critique video make sure to comment on my latest post and uh thanks bye see you next time